Okay. It's been a while. Uh, well, today's a venting, um, you know, discourse or speech, if you want to call it that way. Um, I just want to say what uh, I would have liked to receive as advice if I was young or younger. Uh, and that is to stay away from third world countries. Um, unfortunately, I was born in, in a third world country. I'm a citizen of a third world uh, country. And it's a shithole, basically. Um, you know, the transportation system doesn't work. Uh, the, you know, nothing really works. Uh, air conditioners don't work. Cars don't work. Um, pollution is uh, incredibly dense here uh, because the cars are not uh, checked for by mechanics. And the priority is that the cars uh, you know, uh, work, that they uh, function in a basic way, but not in an ecological way. So, you know, they might throw a lot of smoke uh, and, and still be able, you know, st still be legally on, on the road. Um, the other thing, the, the other uh, problem is, you know, corruption in the government and, you know, the general attitude of people of just being mediocre and, uh, you know, uh, being, uh, having no dignity and, uh, you know, being vulgar and stupid is uh, actually praised in this parts of the world. So, uh, I don't know if you ever think that because you're a missioner or you want to you know help people in the third world and you want to make them develop them their technology and their economy you want to come here uh, well think it twice uh, don't be so idealistic uh, I know you want to improve things but uh, to me the best analogy is a person you know uh, drowning and not knowing how to swim, uh, you want to help that person, but perhaps that person might end up drowning you too. So two people instead of one die. I know it's very saddening to see another person die, but uh, it's sometimes for your own good you have to uh, realize the you know the reality, um, the realistic approach to that problem is to just to let it uh, drown. Unfortunately, there's no real art alternative. Um, sorry if I uh, stutter because I'm a little tired. It's the end of the workday, so uh, words don't come as easily as in the morning. And you know, whatever. Uh, I'm tired, right? So uh, that's it. I mean, just. Never come here, never come to this shithole, man. Seriously, I seriously say that. Uh, stay the fuck away. Uh, you know, whatever you have heard about, I don't know, the whole that in America, Africa, South Asia, uh, it's probably true. I'm sorry to be so generalistic. But, uh, you know, huge amounts of pollution, no consideration for, uh, for the elder, uh, vulgarity, uh, you know, promiscuity, um, you know, no uh, parent planning. And by that I don't mean uh, abortion, obviously I'm not a liberal, but, uh, you know, being responsible. They're going to be promiscuous, they might as well be responsible. But now, I mean, you know, the population grows, you know, people that shouldn't be reproducing are reproducing like criminals. Um, and, you know, those are the effects, you know, you have a dec decadent society. Uh, and I have to deal with it every day. Um, one of the biggest regrets that I have is to have come back to, from uh, Spain to El Salvador, uh, or from Italy to El Salvador. I mean, I really didn't want to do it, but... Uh, I had no choice, right? I didn't have a job there. Um, I don't know, it's just don't do it. 
you know, I, I'm not saying that people are bad. Uh, you can be super nice, but still be uh, completely clueless, uh, without culture, without uh, dignity. You know, just as an example, uh, they, they spend, I don't know, 90% of their time talking about completely frivolous and uh, superficial, uh, useless things like soccer, you know, completely useless. How can you use that for for your well-being? How can you improve your life, uh, your lifestyle, your family's uh, level of, uh, of income or uh, their um, life expectancy, their health, their um, education. It doesn't have anything to do with that. Right? Soccer is just an entertainment. And I would understand that they would like to talk about that for, I don't know, five minutes. But they spend probably the majority of the time, like, it's a, like I said, or, or, or their free time, talking about stupidity like that, uh, that has no relevance to their personal or societal life. Uh, I know it's a icebreaker for people that n don't know each other or it's a common uh, conversation uh, uh, starter, but uh, to, 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 to rely on that for every single interaction with another person really denotes the lack of culture, the lack of understanding of the universe, of, of life in this planet, of how the economy works, how uh, people should, should interact, how they can improve their lives, okay? It's not gonna happen, honey. Trust me, I've been here for a long time, you know, for way too long. Uh, a life completely wasted, um, you know, completely frustrated. Anything that I do is like completely in vain. Um, I, I always, every single day, uh, whatever activity I do, uh, I do it in order to to get away from here. Um, and that's basically the, the premise uh, of this video. Uh, I really want to to hit the point on that. I really, I really want to to make that clear that uh, don't be naive. I mean, nothing is produced from here. Uh, we are cheap labor, basically super cheap labor. So companies invest here because they want to <laughs> exploit people. That's it. I mean, there's no, there's no uh, other reason. So I'm, I'm really sorry to say that. Uh, perhaps there's some mining going on, and perhaps those, those resources are being taken care of by international companies. But I'm pretty sure they're not leaving a lot of uh, their uh, richness here, just like typical colonialism. Um, you know, uh, the people that actually have. Uh, uh, are very capable, are uh, considered of high skill, go outside. It's called brain uh, drainage. Um, they go outside because they... Uh, brain drain, I think it's called, because they, they don't have opportunities here. Um, that's the reality of things. Um, <laughs> everything. I mean, we use cars that are from any other country except here. We construct from materials, perhaps they're made here, I don't know, <laughs> to be frank with you. Perhaps the construction materials, some of them are made here, but perhaps the worst of them, like Duradita, which is basically asbestos, uh, which is prohibited in first world countries, is actually still used here. Uh, I think that where I am talking right now is a place that has an asbestos uh, roof. Uh, you know, it's so. I mean, I can't sleep well because uh, people make uh, sounds outside. Uh, it's a market in the, in the street and it's a residential area. So uh, the bread salesman, I don't know how you call that guy, uh, the guy in the bike that sells bread, uh, makes a sound, you know, beeps. Uh, the other guy has a, a head, um, uh, you know, a, a speaker. Uh, the, the one that sells fruit has a speaker too, and he's in a pickup. And in the pickup, they have all the merchandise. Uh, the fishman, the fisherman that that sells fish, also have a loudspeaker that is actually uh, incredibly loud. It would uh, immediately uh, wake anybody up. 
uh, if they were making uh, a nap, if, if they were taking a nap. Um, the, um, the uh, I don't know, anybody I like, uh, restaurants announce themselves with loudspeakers and they come here uh, in the street in a very slow uh, drive, they driving very slowly, they uh, turn on the volume probably at its highest and you know loud, use the loudspeaker to sell their product uh, every single day, a Sunday too, <laughs> Sunday too. You're, if you're taking a nap, you will be fucked up in the ears uh, because somebody decided that you shouldn't uh, take a nap, that you should be brainwashed, even in your own fucking home. Um, you know, uh, the corruption here is so uh, prevalent that nobody cares anymore. I mean, it's like, oh, that's the status quo, being corrupt. So, you know, let's make schools corrupt too. Let's educate people, you know, instead of sending them to, 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 to you know, to, to an actual school, I mean, in the school, take lessons. No, let's make them watch a soccer game uh, while they should actually be taking uh, lessons in the fucking school, in the school. They watch soccer games. Uh, things like um, I don't know. Anybody can put a, uh, a any kind of, of street uh, sales of, of food, and they sell shit. I mean, I have diarrhea episodes every every month because uh, every month basically I have to take pills, uh, anti-parasitical pills to help me, you know, uh, uh, battle against p potential parasites that I have uh, accumulated in my bowels because, uh, because uh, uh, somebody decided to not be hygienic with their food. So I have to re really, really be care careful where, where I buy and eat food, uh, generally the street places, the street rest, um, street uh, uh, businesses where they sell food uh, are the worst ones. Um, I don't know, I could speak about this my entire life and would never uh, drain out of, of ideas about how decadent this society is. It's shitty, it's uh, depressing, uh, you know, people are uh, mediocre, they conform to to whatever uh, bad situation they are, and they don't realize how shitty it is because that's how they've been raised. Uh, that's how they have lived for way too long. You know, criminality is skyrocketed. Uh, extortions are sky. Just very recently, I saw a guy that probably was extorting, extorting. Um, Another uh, guy uh, who's uh, whose uh, um, uh, store I visited recently. So I don't know. It's just you know the smog. I can't walk in the streets because I smell. I think I'm retarded by now uh, because of the huge amounts of smog, which is you know by scientific studies you can. Uh, really extrapolate to that. IQs are reduced by that, just by the smog, just by the pollution in the air. Um, you know, people have no working rights. They 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 don't have labor rights. Like for example, if they go, or if they work uh, or, uh, extra hours, nobody's there to guarantee their extra salary. Um, you know the payments are miserable, uh, the jobs, I mean, even if you're an excellent engineer, you will find a job in something that has nothing to do with it, because there are no jobs for it. So, you know, people go through very difficult uh, careers just to find out that they, they'll be, you know, cashiers or uh, call center representatives. Uh, very frustrating. Um, don't come here.
uh, stay in your first world country or uh, I don't know if you if you don't have an alternative uh, at least don't live in the city which is so polluted and corrupt and decadent uh, rotten really you know prostitution everywhere uh, people are vulgar uh, they always joke about sex about uh, I don't know they <laughs> flaunt their their drug addictions and their, you know, alcoholic, generally alcoholic addictions, but it's a drug, right? Um, they flaunt their mediocrity. Uh, if you're not in line with mediocrity, then you're weird. Um, you know, the status quo here is incredible. I mean, you have no idea how decadent it is. Uh, and yes, I've lived in so-called first world, world countries and they're not uh, paradises but they're definitely the people that live there are have a better culture and they respect other people and the society in general they don't throw away you know plastic bags in the street they don't uh, catcall uh, pretty women um, they don't you know uh, they have more tolerance to other uh, political views uh, and sexualities and uh, you know different ways of, of living life um, here they they just have this uh, super incredible uh, mind numbing uh, contradiction of their religion, which is probably evangelism, you know, typical uh, Protestant uh, Christianity and Catholicism. And they contrast that with their true way of being, which is probably just, you know, banging any whore or, uh, you know, uh, being drunk um, and driving, of course, you had to drive uh, while you were drunk and, and you know, risk not only your life but the life of other people in the road. Um, you know, what else? You know, just I could speak about this the entire day. Um, the, the, the huge amount of, of uh, you know, uh, insinuations that you should be like them, that you should adapt to their uh, shitty, uh, uh, I don't know, promiscuous, um, banal, uh, frivolous, uh, uh, insignificant way of life, uh, that uh, you know, that I, I am unhappy because I'm not like them. Uh, all those things, like, they hit you every single day. All those things. That mentality of being, um, being always uh, trying to pull, trying to pull towards, towards their mediocrity. It's just incredible. Um, well, I think the video is already too long, so I will not uh, uh, make it e even longer, uh, but I think I made the point. So I hope the next video I'll talk about intelligence, what I think about intelligence and what it actually is. Okay, see you later.